Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea where we talk about all things glam and all things girly. So today we have a review of the restocked Makeup Forever Essentials Palette. It has blush colors, foundation and concealer bronzer contour colors. And so I will be doing a full face using this palette, showing you how I use these shades on my face, letting you know my thoughts and opinions on this palette compared to the other two palettes that I have like this from the brand. And then of course, sharing with you who I think this palette is gonna work best for, recommendations, all the things. So stay tuned for all of that. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I truly do appreciate it. If you are new, I would love for you to click that subscribe button and join the Glam Girl Squad. We would love to have you. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for deciding to come back and support my channel. All of your likes, your comments, shopping through my links, just you being here means so much to me and I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. So let's get right into this video. Okay, so I love these face palettes by Makeup Forever and I could not resist when I saw this was back in stock. So this is not a new launch, it is a restock. And like I said, this is the Makeup Forever Multi-Use Cream Foundation and Blush Palette. It does retail for $88 and we get a total of six blush shades that you see here and then six concealer, foundation, bronzer, maybe contour type of shades. I would say bronzer type of shades. I'll get into that a little bit later on. Um, supposedly too, this palette is supposed to be great for a plethora of complexions. And so we'll talk about that in this video. Makeup Forever though says their Viral HD Skin Face Essentials Palette is back with six cream skin tone shades to unify, conceal, and sculpt, and six complimentary cream blushes for a long lasting pop of color. It has a weightless texture that is ultra blendable to easily customize your perfect shades and buildable to achieve your desired coverage. All 12 shades deliver an undetectable natural finish that lasts up to 12 hours. The mistake proof formula makes creating a flawless complexion fun and easy for all regardless of skill level. So some other things that I wanna share with you is that this formula is supposed to be waterproof, sweat proof, and smudge proof. And they also improved the formulation. So it says our team of makeup artists has reformulated the iconic Ultra HD Face Essentials Palette, bringing you the revamped HD Skin Face Essentials Palette. These 12 lightweight buildable shades blend seamlessly into the skin for an undetectable natural finish. So I guess based on how the formulation of the first palette was, this reformulated palette is going to be more blendable very undetectable on the skin and very natural looking. So what I wanna do is, before I get into the demonstration, I wanna swatch all 12 shades on me and I will swatch them on my neck um, because if I swatched them on my arm here, you can see that this part of my arm is a little lighter than this part of my neck. And my neck is very close in complexion to my face. So I think doing swatches here on my neck could give you a better idea as to how these shades would look on my face. I didn't do like application of every shade on my face, but you know, we're gonna give you the best that we can. So I'm gonna start off by swatching the blush shades and then I'll go into the um, complexion shades. So we'll start with this shade right here. I will say the formula is really nice and creamy. It almost feels a little emollient, if you will. Definitely feels more emollient versus like a thicker cream. So this is the shade right here. It is a nice like cooler tone, light pink color. Then we're gonna go in with this shade right here. And I will talk about, I guess I could talk about my experiences with these blush shades. So I used two blushes on the face. I'll show you which ones I used. And I will say the formula is buildable. Here's the second shade. But it because the formula of the blush shades is more emollient, I do find that you really have to add more than one or two layers if you want it to show the way you want it to show. Like I like blush, so I like my blush to pop. And I applied a couple of layers, but then once I set with powder, um, I'm swatching this shade right here. Once I set my face with powder, I felt like it really toned down the blush shades. So then I applied more of the blush shades on top and I got more of like 
the punch that I wanted. So I will say the formula is buildable. It was no pilling underneath the, or on top of the powder, which I like going in with this shade. Um, but it just didn't give me the pigmentation that I thought I was gonna get kind of right off the back. Now this shade is giving me a, a nice amount of pigmentation um, without having to do, you know, more than one or two uh, swatches or applications. These first three shades I feel are kind of light, light, really light. Um, and then these are the two shades that I have actually on my cheeks. So going in with this shade right here, which has a nice pigmentation to it. Um, but even still, and you'll see in the demonstration, I had to build it to get what we see on my cheeks now. And then this is the shade that you see right here. So here are all six shades of blush. And I think that these first three shades are just going to be very light. Like personally, I would not reach for these three shades simply because I feel like you're not gonna really see them as much on the cheek. Um, not the way I like blush, like I like blush. I like the blush to be seen and heard versus these three shades, I'm getting more pigmentation from them. So these would be shades I would reach for more because I'm gonna get more pigmentation. And like I said, I still like the blush that you see on, I did reapply before coming on and I'll show you clipping what everything looked like at the end of the day. But I will admit, I thought I was gonna get more bang for my buck from these blushes and I didn't. I was honestly kind of underwhelmed with the pigmentation. Now, based on the description that we read, more of a natural look to the skin, undetectable look on the skin, maybe this is the actual uh, direction the brand wanted to go in, in terms of having more of like a cream formula that's more subtle. So if that is what they were going for, then they definitely achieved it with these shades and I can't complain about that. Just looking at the pans, I thought we were gonna get more punch. Also knowing that this is supposed to be a palette that's supposed to be versatile amongst multiple complexions. If you have a deeper complexion, you're definitely not getting use out of these shades. And even these shades right here, if you've got like a nice deep rich complexion, you know, these two shades really may not show up on you. You might only have one blush shade that could work for you. So it just depends on like what you like in a blush. If you like more subtle blushes and you have, I would say my complexion or lighter, I think this is gonna be perfect for you. Um, the formula is very creamy and soft, so you can apply it with your fingers or you can go in with a brush if that's your preference. Um, but I do wish we got more bang for our buck because if we would have gotten like a stronger, pigmentation from these blushes, oh my gosh. This palette would have been 100% perfection. Um, because looking at these tones, I was like, oh, I know I'm gonna be able to wear every one of them and they're gonna be beautiful and I'm gonna just be like using this all the time. And now I'm just kind of like, oh, I don't know. Another thing that I um, think they could have done better with, and I think this problem probably would have been solved maybe if we had more pigmentation. These two shades really just look like one shade on my cheek. Like you almost can't see that I have two different shades on my cheek. And I feel like I would see the, get the same with these two shades. If I put them on my cheek, I don't think you would be able to see a difference at all. So instead of having six distinctly different shades, for me, I might have three or four being honest. Now, if you have a lighter complexion, you probably will see a difference in tone. So for the blushes, I think they are beautiful. I think the formula is great, but this is not going to be a palette for, you know, a plethora of complexions like I thought so. Um, so that's where I'm at with the blushes. Now let's move on to the actual concealer complexion shade. So I'm gonna start with this shade right here and then work our way down. So we've got this shade right here. Now that's nice and pigmented for sure. This is the shade that I actually use for my under eye concealer. Nice and pigmented. I use this shade for bronzer. This shade is much warmer than I thought. I thought this shade was going to be 
um, a little more neutral, but it is definitely more warm. Then going up to this shade right here. And then this is the shade that I actually used for my foundation shade. Now these shades are pigmented, like nobody's, no questions asked. And then this is um, a shade I also used it for bronzer. So I'll put this right here. These shades are pigmented. Like you saw, we got, you know, one swipe, a lot of pigmentation here. I would say for these complexion shades, like these lighter tones right here, um, we see that they are, I would say, a little more, they've got a little yellow in them. So, well, these two for sure have a little more yellow. I feel like this one is maybe our neutral, coolish type of tone. Um, but I would put it in the neutral family. And then this uh, deeper shade right here is going to be more warm. I find that this shade is going to be a little more neutral warm. And then this shade down here, I would put in the cool, like neutral to cool family. So I feel like in terms of these conceal complexion shades here, we do get a, a, a nice, a nice array of neutral and warm tones for what the palette is. So when you look at this side of the palette, you might look at it and go, I don't see a shade or, you know, what can I do? And these palettes are made for you to mix and match and do all the things, okay? So if you don't like mixing and matching shades to get your shade, then this would not be the palette for you. So if you were around my complexion, I would say up to a few shades deeper, especially if you have a uh, neutral to warmer complexion, you could then get a little bit of use out of this palette. So for me, I'm not gonna use this shade really anywhere on the face. Um, I don't like my under eye concealer to be too stark. So like I said, for me, this is the shade I would go for. And you'll see in the demonstration, which I'll start playing right now so we can get into that. Um, I started off with this as a all over face shade. I thought this was perfect. Like I was like, this is like almost spot on to my foundation shade. It is beautiful. It didn't look like too cool tone, too warm tone on the skin. I think it was a nice like neutral uh, tone with like a bit of warmth to it. And I loved it. Formulation is so silky smooth. It does blend effortlessly into the skin. I used the Makeup Forever 108 brush and the pan, the brush is a little bigger than the pan, but it worked, so we went with it. And I mean, it just blended in like butter. Like it is, in terms of these face palettes, this is the best complexion shade for me. Like I didn't have to mix it to get the shade that I wanted. And so then I went in with this shade for under eye concealer and it is like a, a tad lighter than I normally go for. But that's fine because I ended up just not using a whole bunch of it and then um, just kept blending it into the skin. And I used the BK Beauty X Nikki La Rose N14 brush to blend in the concealer. If I wanted to tone it down, what I would do is I would just go it like back and forth with this shade and this shade. And then I could blend that under the eye so I could have a um, slightly lighter tone for the under eye area if I didn't want it to be too stark. But in all honesty, once I blended everything together, it looked really beautiful and I, I, I enjoyed it. So for me, I would probably just continue to go in with this shade unless I was really going for like a very natural looking day where I didn't really want too much of uh, differentiation between concealer shade and foundation shade. So then after that, I went in with this shade first to see how it looked as a bronzer. And because it's very close to my skin complexion, you almost didn't see it. It looked very natural, like a very natural um, sculpt to the face. So I went in with that first and then I decided to mix in this shade because I was like, ooh, you know, this shade is deeper. Me thinking maybe it's a little more neutral. It'll really help to like define and carve out the cheeks but it ended up being more warm. So I just used it as a bronzer, but I liked how it warmed up the complexion. Um, I would say this is definitely more of a bronzer shade for me than it would be a sculpt shade. Sculpt shades are gonna be cooler in their tone. So this is more of a bronzer shade for me. And yeah, so I found that they blended very easy 
effortlessly onto the skin. And then like I mentioned before, I went in with this shade of blush for the higher points of the cheek. And then I used this shade of blush on the uh, pops of my cheek. And full face was done and I was just like, okay, this is nice. I went in to set my face with the um, Suku Velvet Loose Powder. And like I said, once I finished setting my face, I was just like, okay, I don't see the blush as much as I want to. So I just went back over um, my blush with these two shades to give it more of a poppy look. And then you see the finished look that we have here. I really like how the finished look looked. Okay, let me take this off my neck and then I'll come back. But I really like the finished look. I for sure agree that this looks very natural on the skin. It leaves a, I would say it leaves more of a slightly, slightly dewy finish to the skin. And that in my opinion is due to its more balmy formula. Um, so I would say that if you have normal to dry skin, maybe combination skin, you could very much enjoy this palette. Oily skin people, I would probably say no, just because it might leave your skin a little too dewy. So here is what my face looked like at the end of the day. And at this point, I have had this palette on for 12 hours for sure. So remember it said that the formula is supposed to last up to 12 hours. I would agree to that. It did last up to 12 hours. So as you can see up close, we do have some wearing away of the um, cream products, definitely along my chin. Some of the blush had faded as well. But for the most part, the products were still in place. And I'm not mad at it. I definitely feel like this is a long lasting formula. And with me recommending it based on skin type, as you can see, I do have some dew coming through. Um, around my t-zone um, and so for those reasons that's why I said if you have oily skin maybe it may not be the palette of choice for you because if you're someone who's like I don't want to see any do at all then maybe this may not work for you um, unless you have like some bomb mattifying primers that you know will help to keep the oils at bay then I would probably reserve this more so for dry normal combination skin I enjoy this palette, but it's out of the three that I have, it is definitely not my favorite. Now, let me share with you the other two palettes that I have because these two palettes are still in stock on Makeup Forever. And by the way, this palette is sold on Makeup Forever's website. Um, it is not at Sephora. And these two, I don't believe are at Sephora anymore. So starting with this one, this is the HD Skin All-in-One Face Palette. This palette actually comes in two shades, a lighter shade and then this is the deeper shade. And so um, it's a multi-use cream palette that has all you need for a full face complexion routine and a travel-friendly compact. compact. So in all honesty, this is my favorite formulation of the three. And here's why. Number one, even though I have not used it yet, you've got a corrector shade in here, which I have now started using correctors more. So for me, um, I love that this has a corrector shade. In terms of all over face shade, because these tones are light, I have to mix this shade with this shade to get all over face complexion shade. And then I went in with this shade right here for under eye concealer. We do have like a nice, let me put this up close so you can see it. So I use this shade and I mix this shade for all over face complexion. And then this shade right here is the shade that I use for under eye concealer. I love it that we actually have a neutral um, to cooler tone brown shade because this is going to be a really great sculpt shade. Um, and then this shade right here, I can use as a bronzer. The blushes show up nicely because the formula is not as emollient. So let me swatch the blushes for you. And one more thing, we get a highlight, a cream highlight. So I'm gonna swatch these two blushes so you can see them. And I'll just do it right here. So we get a little bit more pigmentation. Um, because they're not as emollient, and my neck is still kind of <laughs> stained from the other ones, but I like it. To me, I think these blushes last a bit better. I'll also swatch the, uh, swatch the cream highlight shade in case you are interested. 
it's really beautiful. So that those are the blushes and the highlighter shades. And while we're here, I will go ahead and swatch the three shades that I use for the face. I'm not gonna swatch all of them, but all right, so going oh yeah, going in with this shade right here. Nice and rich. And then I'll do these two shades here. This shade and then that shade right there. So these are the shades that I use the most in this palette. And as you can see, they are beautiful. So this is my favorite one. Um, I have definitely traveled with this one out of town and I can really get full face out of this palette. I would say my least favorite of the three already, already my least favorite. <laughs> but I'll tell you why, would be this one. This is the HD Face Sculpting Palette. So this one comes with cream shades as well. And for this one, we get concealer, sculpting shades, and then we get four cream highlighters right here. Now, the reason why it is coming in third place is simply because there's no blush. That's it. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't, but there we go. But we can mix and match for foundation, concealer, and then because this is more of a sculpting palette, as you can see, the tones in this palette are going to be definitely more neutral to cool. So we don't see any really warm tones in this palette. And because of that, another reason why it comes in third place for me is that I don't have like the best complexion shades in this palette. So when I was using this palette, I was mixing these two shades together and I made it work, but it wasn't the best. Like, made it work, wasn't the best. This was going to, so I'll, I'll swatch the shades so you can see. And I think I actually had to mix, I, want, I can't remember now, I might've had to mix one of these shades up here. So I'll go in with this shade here first. And then I'll go in with this shade try to get the correct shading here. There we go. And then I'll go in with these shades right there. So like perfect sculpting shade. Like do you see how cool tone that is? Um, this shade right here, I, when I first used it, how did I use this one? I can't remember how I used it, but I was like, next time I used it, I would just use this more so on the perimeter of my face and then go in with this shade here in the center, well, mix these two shades together for the center to have a better look. I mean, like I said, I made it work, but it was a little trial and error <laughs> at first. Um, and then, like I said, this shade was a really good bronzer shade because it's more neutral. Um, this shade, literal sculpt shade, like literal sculpt shade. And then in terms of the cream highlighters, I'll just swatch those really quickly too. Um, oh, I didn't swatch this shade. I've used that shade before. Let me get you on over here. I'll put that right there. So there's that shade. I'll swatch the cream highlighter shade. So this shade and this shade. So we got one and two. Hopefully y'all can see that. And then I'll do these two down here. This one and this one. I'll just put those right here. Okay, so here is this palette right here. And I feel like this palette is definitely going to be geared towards someone who has about my complexion and lighter. Um, just because the tones in this palette are just more neutral to cool and we don't really have a ton of like or a really good depth shade to really mix and mingle and match to get deeper tones. Um, this is your deeper, your deepest shade. In terms of depth, this would be the deepest shade you could be to get some use out of this palette. But as you can see, you don't have a lot of shades to choose from in terms of like getting the best bang for your buck and being able to use the majority of this palette. So that's what I mean by like, if you are deeper than me, you're not going to be able to get 
as much use out of all of these shades um, unless you've got some good mixing skills and you're just like, okay, great. I know I can take this shade, mix it here and here and here. And then I can take this shade, mix it here, here and here. Um, but I do know that the average person is not always trying to do that, especially if you're not comfortable doing that. So it's not saying it can't be done. It just depends on your comfort level and how you want to use your makeup. But in terms of formulation, it is a beautiful formulated palette. It does last well on the skin. In terms of finish, I would say that, um, I would say that this palette has the same kind of like natural dewy finish. I feel like this palette is a little more dewy than this palette is. And same for the sculpting palette. It's got that like, natural to dewy finish but i don't think it's as dewy as this one so that is my review on all three of these palettes i hope you found it helpful um especially if you were interested in these palettes and you just wanted to figure out like which one would be the best for you like i said i really enjoy them all and i'm glad that i have them all if i had to choose one i would for sure choose this one the all over face palette then in second blush and face palette or the essentials face palette and then in third, sculpting palette. So let me know if you have any questions down below. In terms of Makeup Forever, I wear shade 3Y46 in their HD foundation. I don't have the original one up here, but I do But I do have the Hydra Glow. So that is the shade that I wear in their traditional foundation. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Let me know if there are any other questions that I can help you with down in the comment section below. And if you made it to this point in the video and you haven't yet to subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad because we'd love to have you. And guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.